Cool. Thank you all for being here. So, what's been going on in my absence? Have you been good? Yes. You sure? Yes. yes. All right. Excellent. What have you been learning? Phonetic skills. Mm -hmm. They did phonetic skill one. Have you gone? One and two. You've done two. two. All right. Good. Are we all clear on phonetic skill one and two? Get in there. Get in there. Tell me what difficulty you're having. Tell me, tell me what you think you know that. Tell me again. I would say I'm having difficulty. So you're not having difficulty. So what? It's not sticking. You're for you. You just need to practice a little more so it stays. Right. All right. Not a problem. Why do I keep getting locked out of this thing? Hang on a second. It's behaving like it's not me. So that's Marja, right? And what about everybody else? Hannah, how are you doing with the skills? With phonetic skills one and two? Um, uh, I know one, mm -hmm. um, two. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes I don't know where to add the suffix. Oh, okay. So it's a suffix part, but you understand the rule. If there's no suffix, you understand the rule and yes. when the, and that the vowel is short and things like that. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So we can look at that. Thanks, Hannah. Uh, who else is with me? Chrisanna, how are you doing with the phonetic skills one and two? All right. Mm -hmm. So no problems. Everything go, over good. My, go over the videos. Okay. All right. Good. So you're not having an issue. I'm happy to hear that. All right. Uh, let's see. Mm. What about Lisa? How is it going for you? Lisa, you hear me? Hmm? Lisa? No? Okay. All right. Not hearing Lisa. Not sure why. Where is everybody else? Just a second. Lisa, you there? Okay. Oh, you can hear me, but I, oh, you, oh, you said you cannot. Okay. I cannot hear you either. I did I put three ends in the word cannot? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to practice this then. Um, I'm going to share my screen to just give just a sec. No, this is not what I'm looking for. Just a minute. Um, mm -mm. Okay, so it looks like that's what it wants me to do. Not three and why am I at checkout? What did somebody do something to my thing? I wonder if that's why I couldn't. Um... Good evening, ma'am. Hi, good evening. Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm good. Awesome. Very good. And Lisa, how is everything going with the lessons so far? I'm learning after that. I learned a lot today. You learned a lot today? So you watch yes. the videos. Yes, Miss. Awesome. Good. Very good. And you understand everything about the phonetic skill too? Yeah, I'm coming on to that one too, Miss. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right, good. I'm happy to hear that everybody doing well with it. So that means I don't know what's good. Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> All right. Um, I see what's going on. Sorry, I was in the wrong thing. So that was me. So I'm going to be sharing this with you. Uh, we're just going to have a quick refresher. Let me share my screen. We're going to watch this quick video, guys. Um, so just watch with me and see what we have. Okay? Everybody okay. get my screen? Yes, ma'am. 
All right. Uh, let's play. Let me go back. To add the suffixes ing, ed, er, and est to words that follow the first phonetic skill, add another guardian consonant before adding the suffix. The okay, did we get that one? To words that follow the first phonetic skill, add another guardian consonant before adding the suffix. All right. So let me repeat what she just said. If the word follows, just a second. Sorry, guys. Give me one quick minute. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me just a second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I was I was trying to come back in and it's not letting me do it. I'm not sure. I don't know how to use Zoom. I forgot. All right, so let's start this one more time. And we're gonna, let me just replay what she said. To words that follow the first phonetic skill, add another guardian consonant before adding the suffix. Okay, so she said, to words that follows the first phonetic skill. What's the first phonetic skill? Is it ing? The T, no, the T. The skill. We're looking for the skill. What was phonetic skill number one? Phonetic skill number one said what? So forget the ing for now, right? I want you to tell me. T. Phonetic skill number one said if there is. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. One consonant after the vowel. Good. If there's one consonant after the vowel, yes, it's a short sound. Good. So that's phonetic skill one. And she says, if the word, the original word, and in this case, what's the original word? Or what's the base word? Sit. Sit. Good. The base word is sit. And it follows phonetic skill one. There's just one consonant after the vowel I. And if she says, if that's what you see, then you must add another consonant, no, double the consonant, it, right? Yeah. Double the consonant before. Yeah, I did right? ing. Exactly. So just the, whatever consonant you saw there, add one more. Give him a twin, <laughs> right? Yes, sir. Give him a twin. What is wrong with my phone today? And then after you give him a twin, then you are going to add your suffix. And in this case, the suffix is ing. Give me one. Right? In this case, the suffix is ing. So what's the word now? Sitting. Excellent. Very good. All right. So what if the word was this? What would we say? Fix. Fix. Hmm? This is a T. Fix. Fit. 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 Good. It's very good. And so if I wanted to say fitting, what should I do? ING. Just put um, ING? Add a T, add a T. All right, remember? Good. You have to add a T first. They're going to give him a twin. All right. And then you add on the ING now, right? Cool. So I am going, ING, to give him a twin. <laughs> right? One more, one more. Bef right? So that's what you do first. Cool. So let's play. Let me play this again. Let me continue. The only exception to this spelling rule is words that end in X. 
We call it Tricky X. What did she just say? Tricky X. She said, yeah. good. So there when you work and with X, we don't keep it um, so we double. We don't double the X. Exactly. No X, no get, no twin car. X done wrong already, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Cool. So we're not having two wrong kids, okay? <laughs> So one wrong picnic is good enough. We're not getting a twin for X. All right. Or rather, we don't want two ex-boyfriend or two ex-girlfriend or two ex-husband or two ex-wife. One ex is good enough. Yes. <laughs> so we're not getting no more. One ex. Right. So that's an exception to the rule. The rule said if the base word has one consonant after the vowel, then we would add we would and make the vowel to... short. Yes, that's what the rule says. Yes. But in this, and then we would double it and add the, the suffix ing or whatever. But in this case, they're saying, uh-uh, not do it if it's x though. If it's x the word, and we don't follow the rule there because them out and bad are bad people, x be. Right? That's why we dump with x, right? <laughs> and them bad, they're never good. <laughs> yeah so about people so we are not going to give bad people any company okay we're simply going to add on the rest ing ing cool so what's the word now boxing 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 not boxing boxing to get back we need a ah we need a o oh, oh, like ah. we're british remember yes, <laughs> boxing cool all right Excellent. So everybody follows that. Let's continue. Remember that the sound of X is X, which is actually two consonant sounds, K and S. X. Everybody Since got X that? X already has two consonant sounds, it is the one consonant that doesn't need to be doubled before adding a suffix. So now she's explaining why we don't double the X, right? And she's saying because X already makes two sounds, we don't need to add another one because then we're going to get four sound and that just going to sound all kind of foolish ways. So X, when we say the sound X, it sounds like X, so it sounds like K and S. So it already sounds like two. So since it sounds like two already, we're going to pretend that two already, okay? Yes, ma'am. But we don't double it. Cool? All right, let's keep going. So, we simply add the suffix following tricky X. Since words that follow... Hold on. Since words... Remember that the sound of X We're is... We're going to read the words that come up on the next slide. Which is actually two consonant sounds. K and... S Since X already has two consonant sounds, it is the one consonant that doesn't need to be doubled before adding a suffix. So all right, so guys, tell me what this word what the words we have on the screen are. What's this box, one? Box. 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 Mm -hmm. Boxing. Boxing. Boxer. 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 Good. Very good. Box, boxing, boxer, right? So put the, sh put the toys in the box. I like to watch boxing matches. Mike Tyson was a boxer. Sir, yes, miss. Got it? Yes, Good. Miss. Awesome. All right, let's continue. Oh, so we simply add the suffix following tricky X. Since words that follow the second phonetic skill already have two guardian consonants just add the suffix and underline it all right so we got that yes phonetic skill two says if there are two guardian consonants after the vowel so we're looking for the vowel is the vowel that yes right this is that was the vowel yes yes ma and we we're looking at the original word the base part of the word ignore the suffix for now right Look at the base form of the word. We see one vowel, and then as we, as we go across and go around, we see one guardian consonant right there, sir. So, him get a star, 
I will see another one and him get a star. And the rule says, if there are two guardian consonants, what happens to the vowel? It long short or short? Sound. It makes short. a short sound. What's short. the short sound for you? Oh. 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 The short sound for you is oh. Very good. Oh. And so what's the word? What's the base word? Jump. 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 Good. Language. Good. Jump. Now, there's no word in the English language <clears throat> that starts with MP. Okay, so MP can only end a word or be in the middle of a word. It will never start a word, okay? So that will also give you a clue. Now, when we have phonetic skill two, where two guardian consonants follows the vowel, we don't need to do anything. We don't need to double it. It already have two, it don't need no, no more company, okay? Yes, <laughs> so all we do now is add the suffix, okay? And in this case, That's the suffix it. is ed, and ed means this is the past tense, right? The past tense yes, of yes. jump. So we pronounce it jumped. Yes. What's the word? Sound. Jumped. Good. Excellent. So it, it, have a T sound. it has a T sound. Now, not all ed endings have the T sound. Remember we, we said that? Some says id, yes, some yes. says ad. Ed. This yes. one says yes. who? Jumped. Yes, yes. All right. So I jumped the fence yesterday to get away from the bad dog. <laughs> cool? Is that true, Miss? Not at all. Me, I got dog, I people, yeah, I'm going near them fence. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> not at all. So that was not true. Never. Um, but just making a sentence. Cool? I jumped in the bed. That was true. <laughs> all right. So jumped. Now I'm going to continue playing. And we underline our Words suffixes that end so in we know it's the suffix S, and not the base. F, Z, or words containing special vowel combinations already have two consonants following the vowel. So simply add the suffix. So you get it? What you just said? Words that have in two consonants. And the vowel is followed by two consonants. Mm -hmm. You just add the suffix. Exactly. Suffix. Yeah. As long as and it is special, not. Mm -hmm. Go on. I hear special um, vowel sound. Vowel sound, yes. Right. Like the all and the all and the ul. <laughs> right? Mm, yes, yes. Right. So as long as we can identify that the words have two consonants consonants after the vowel and or it comes with the special vowel and remember the special vowel sound have two vo two consonant after them you know remember all of them all two vo two consonants come after it right Il, okay. uh, two mm -hmm. consonants come after it yes so all. so all we're doing is looking out for two consonants after the vowel as long as you see two consonants after the vowel what we're doing just in ing. All we're doing a, and or ed, yes, or okay. er, right? Okay. The the suffixes are er, ing, and ed. Cool. So all we do after that is add the suffix. Don't do nothing else. Just add the suffix. So if I ask you to spell the word balling, how would you spell balling? We balling tonight. How we spell balling? I may hear B-O, why a B-O? No, no, hear the special vowel sound. E-A-L-L-I-N-G. E-A-L-L-I-N-G. Very good. All right, balling. Remember right here, sir? The special vowel sound give me all, right? So that's why it's not O, right? Because it's O would be alling, but this is alling. It stretch out a little bit. Cool? So if it's short, then it's O, balling or bowling. But if it stretch out the R is A L L. Until later on, I'm gonna tell you about A W, but right on A U, but right now A L L. Cool. So falling. All right. Now, what if I wanted to spell falling? Falling. F A L L I N G. You got it. Very good. What if I wanted to spell pulling? P U L L I N G. 
Excellent. Good. What if I wanted to spell? What if I wanted to spell tilling? A tilling the soil. T-U-L-L-I-N-G. Not pulling. T i l l i n g. T i l l i n g. T i l l i n g. Good. What if I wanted to spell tilled? I tilled the soil. I l l e d. T i l l e d. Very good. What if I wanted to spell tiller? He's a tiller. I don't know if nobody names him for real. <laughs> T i l l e r. T i l l e r. Good job. Very good. But what if I wanted to spell um, fan? F a f f a n e r. F a n f just fan. F a n yes fan. So what if I wanted to spell fanning? F a n n e r. F a n n who? Fanning. I n g. I n g. I n g. Very good. Excellent. Cool. What if I wanted to spell fand? F A N E R. Fund. F A N E N. N. The next N. The next N. N, -E. N. Mm -hmm. And N -E. then, good. N -E. Very good. Remember, if it's one consonant come after the vowel, we're going to give him some company. We're doubling him up Double before okay. we add the ending, the, the suffix. All right? So the base word is F A N, fun. But funning need friends. The N need company before we can add ED. And we're going to teach you why in another lesson, okay? okay? But right now, just try to remember the rules. Cool? You know, sometimes your mother tell you the rule and she not explain her why. She said, yeah. no, don't go over the girl the yard. And she not tell you why. Tell her why you go and get beaten. Exactly. Oh, she make you know I say you go get beaten if you go over there. But she not said why she not want to go over there. I probably later on when you get little bigger, she said, mm -mm, that girl lady bad. Me know why you follow that company. <laughs> it's true, miss. <laughs> right? So same thing. Later on, me go and tell you know why we, we, we have to add the double letters before the, the ending. All right? But right now, just, just follow my rules. Cool? <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Watch as we add a suffix to this word. What's this word? The word is... Fell. 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 Remember E? What sound oh, E make? L. Good. Fell. Good. So the L. word is cell. E says S, so the word is cell. Good. Do we and you following me? Do we and Do we and they are both? Yes, miss. All right. Good. You follow? Yes, miss. All right. If you're not follow, tell me now. I'm follow. All right. Good. Everything all right. <laughs> cool. And I'm okay too. Thank you. Good. All right. So this word is sell. Let's continue. Selling. Selling. What we need first, to do for make selling. We prove the I base word. Sell. Good. What's, first, we have to prove the base word, right? Now we can add the suffix ing. Watch as Very we prove good. another word. We're proving another one. Smallest. Small. Smallest. So the word we want to make, we want to write the word smallest. So what, what do we have on the screen? Small. 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 Good. We had a blend, which is small. Mm, and then we, uh, we have the special vowel all. So we add small. Mm, all. Small. All. Good. And now we want smallest. So we e prove the word. What we just did was to prove the word by saying SM is a blend, yes. mm, and then so we prove it. And somebody says, How oh, you know, sir? So it's spelled cause mm, is a blend, blend. and a, a, and then we L -L. hear the special vowel sound all. Oh. So that's a l l. That's how you get it, <laughs> right? So you prove it. But now we want to add smallest, small, smaller, smallest. I'm the smallest one of all my friends. Let's see how we do that. First, we prove the word small. Proving it. Now we can add the suffix est and underline it. Smallest. That so est gives it an est sound, right? Eh. If you separate them, you get eh. And then the blend st. So est. So that's how we get smallest. Got it? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Good. That is the smallest dog I have ever seen. 
Now let's make the word tipped. Okay, we're going to make the word tipped. Who wants to do it? Who wants to tell me how we make the word tipped? Double the P and add T-I-P-P-E-R. Tipped, not tipper. Tipped. P. One more time. I want tipped. So the base word is tipped. T-I-P-P. Mm-hmm. P. E-D. Good. Remember, E-D gives me the t sound. Yes? Tipped. So I tipped the waitress after dinner at the fancy restaurant. Cool? Perfect. Or I tipped my hat to the queen. No, you're supposed to take off your hat, not tip it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Well, you get my picture. You get the point. Yes, tipped. Yes, miss. Very good. Now, what if I wanted to write tipper? Tipper. T-I-P-E-R. T-I-P-E-R? E no, R is a suffix. -E -R. E -R. Okay, good. Very good. Good. And I underline my suffix. Suffix being the thing that end the word and changes the meaning and so on and so forth. Or the, or the tense, yes? So it comes at the end. Suffix means at the end. Prefix means at the beginning. We we'll soon learn teachable prefix too. Cool? But right now we are the suffix. It come at the end. Everybody get what suffix mean? Yes, if you keep on hearing me talk about suffix, me mean ending. <laughs> As, all right when i tell you about prefix i mean beginning <laughs> okay yes miss. but right now i just suffix where i do let's continue welcome oral and you have to pay ten dollars for being late why mm -hmm. u.s dollar me i talk about i get no what all right me here's a pound me for charge so 10 pounds for late <laughs> no, no you, problem all right then cool <laughs> Big money. All right. Good. Big money, right? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Let's continue. Tipped. First, we prove the base word tip. Then we add another P and the suffix ED. Tipped. The chair tipped over when Hunter leaned back. Everybody got that? Here's the word yes, dip. Okay, so everybody understands everything that's going on. So I can move on now? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Still, anybody still having trouble with how to add suffixes to phonetic skill one and two? No, miss. We all clear now. Sure, sure, sure. All right. If we're all clear, then it's story time. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do an activity first, and then we're going to do story time, okay? So I'm going to share my screen again. Just to make sure everybody is on the right, is on the same page. Cool? So let's do this activity, then we're going to do story time. Now that you have completed the lesson, let's practice what you learned with some activities. Click on one of the boxes Which box to begin. Which box do to pick? Cool. Number two. All right, cool. Number two. Look at these words on your screen. One word is spelled correctly, and one word is spelled incorrectly. Listen to the word I say, then click on the word that is spelled correctly. Ready? We got the instructions. Faster. Have we gotten yes. the instructions? So two yes, words yes. are on the screen. One spelled correct, the other one wrong. I know, so it's spell. Tell me the one that's spelled right. Okay? F A. So you can tell me, we're going to pretend that they are A and B to make it easier. So tell me if it's A or B is the right one. B. We're looking for faster. B is the right one. Who said B? Everybody agrees B? B, B is yeah. the right one. Why is B the right one? Because, because it has the two T. Yeah. Two. Yes. But Focus this is the base word. Look at the base, base word. word. The base word is fast. If we have no. the base word fast, I it's will look. A. It's a. <laughs> all right, good. But we're going to prove that it's A for everybody else, all right? So we first thing we look for is the vowel. We'll mark the vowel. Then as we go around, we see two guardian consonants. It's a blend, but it's still two because blends, though they come together, mm right they still have two sounds two sounds right so the vowel is short 
So it's two consonants come after it already. Remember the lady did say, if we have two consonants following the verb, the, the vowel, then what we must do? Just yes, add the suffix. Yes, yes. Don't double up nobody. It already yes. have two or two alone in need. We want right. more company for, <laughs> right? So just add the suffix. So which one is the right one? A. A. Good. And what's the word? Faster. Yeah. Faster. Good. I can run faster than you. Mm -hmm. No, I can't, but you know. <laughs> cool. Next one. Oh, she not finished. Sorry. <laughs> What's going on? Faster. <laughs> next. She not going to the next. Why? Why should I want to go faster? To I already. Oh, I never pick. Outstanding. Peaked. Sorry, I never choose. Smaller. <laughs> Which one is correct? A or B? A. Who? A, Lisa. A. Very good. A is correct. Good job, right? Because the base word was small. small. So it had <coughs> two, it, the special vowel combination. So it already had two yeah. consonants. So all we needed to do now was add the suffix, E-R, e -R, smaller. Good job. So I will choose. Wonderful. Okay. Tallest. Which one is the correct one? B. Very good. Very good. Tallest. Two consonants. Awesome. All right. This one is Wish. for Hannah. Hannah, which one is correct? Pardon me. Wish. We're looking for wished. Number two. Which one? A or B? Um, A. Sure? No. How many consonants does it come after the... After B, B, the... Miss B, B, okay. B. Good. We're always looking for two consonants after the vowel. Not one, not three, two, right? And wished is a digraph. S-H make a new sound, right? And though it makes, and when it makes a new sound, we give it only one consonant because it's one sound it makes. It's not one like a blend sound. that still make two, but it come together. It's just one, it's brand new. It not even sound like S and H. So we give it one guardian star, but even though we give it one guardian star and the vowel is short, we still count each consonant separately as two consonants, okay? Yes, miss. So even though it's a digraph with one sound, it's still two consonants. Two consonants. So once it's two consonants, we just go ahead and add the ending. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Clear as crystal or clear as mud? Crystal. All right, good. So what's the answer? B? You got it. All right, good. Next Running. one, Lisa. Which one? A or B? A. You got it. Good job. A is the right Wonderful. one. Wonderful. All right. Rubbed. Next one is for Dwayne. A or B? B. You got it. Very good. Amazing. Next one is for Jumping. oral. A or B? Oral? How yes, was, which one of them here is the right spelling for jumping? Um, A. Be sure, A. oral. Look how much consonant they after the vowel. How much consonant you see after the vowel? How much mm. you must have? How wow. many you must have? You must have two, right? Two, two, yes. Before you add a suffix, you must have, you must look for two. So which one is the correct one? B. B is the correct one. Very good. So jumping. Terrific. All right. Resting. This one is for Chrisana. A or B? A. Very good. A is the correct one. Next one is Way for Marja. Biggest. Marja? Yes. Which one is the correct one? B. Very good. Bravo. All right. Fattest. What about this one? Fattest. What's the correct one? Hannah? Hannah? Yes, miss. Which one correct? Which one is the correct spelling for fattest? Look for the base word, right? So the base word of fattest is fat. A. How we spell fat? Very good. F-A-T. Excellent. Good. All right. 
So I think we can be finished up with this. Everybody get the idea? Yes, miss. Sure, sure, sure? Yes, miss. All right. So then now we're going to go to our story. Read this story to practice the skills you just learned. When you are finished reading, answer the questions that follow as best you can. Okay, what's the title of the story, Chrisana? The Skipping Fish. The Skipping Fish, very good. Now, what is the base word of skipping? Skip. Very good, excellent. And notice, because the base word had just one, Consonant after the vowel, we double it and then we add ing. Good. Which of these words has a blend? Fish. Which one of a blend? Oh, skip, skip in. Very good. Which one has a digraph? Fish. Fish. Very Fish. good. Excellent. Remember the difference between a blend and a digraph? The blend is two letter, but them, so them you still hear the two sound them a little sound. bit. The digraph, you know, you're none of the sound them were in there by themselves. If I split, if I say S, I say, what sound S make it tell me? S. Then what sound H make it tell me? S. Now, how S become sh? <laughs> right? <laughs> so, totally different sound it make for digraphs, okay? But skipping, if I say, what sound S make it going tell me? S. What sound K make it tell me? K. So, you still hear S, K, S, K when we put them together. So, you still hear S, K. But it's just that we set them so close together, it almost sound like a one. Remember the blend? Remember we blend the, the mango, mango guava? And you still taste the mango and you still taste the guava? When you blend the consonants, you still have little S and you still have little K. Still have little S and you still have little M. Still have little B and you still have little R. But digraphs, mm -mm. We don't know what that's going to mix up. But we don't taste nothing. <laughs> New taste. <laughs> cool? All right, so the skipping fish. Let's read the skipping fish, guys. Ready? All right, first paragraph. Lisa, can you read the first paragraph for us? And you can break up this word. We just see skippers. So we know skippers. So look on the other part and tell me. Mud. Mm -hmm. Mud What's skipper are mud? fish. They can swim in water and skip on land. They use their, their fin are swimming. Good. Let's tell me this word again. Are. Mm -mm. Yes. Or. Well, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Or. What about this one? Uh, uh, for. For. Good. Excellent. All right. Mud skippers are fish. They can swim in water or skip on land. They use yes. their fins for swimming. Me afraid of them fish. I hope I never see one of those. What do you mean you can't skip on land and swim? Yeah. I don't know. Well, what them. <laughs> no. I don't want to meet none of them. I don't run. I <laughs> 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 feel like I'm afraid of them fish there. All right. Duane, can you do number do the second paragraph for us? Turn on your microphone, Duane. Turn on the microphone, Duane. Ready? They swim. Duane? Ready? It's a sure as do it. <laughs> Doing? Yeah, hear me? Doing must have gone, man. Doing the right. This is probably gonna work again. I'm not hearing you doing. Can your microphone off? You have to turn it on. All right, let's move on because running out of time. Marja, read the second paragraph for me, please. They swim when they are spending time in the water, but mud skippers spend most of their time on land. Very good. Now, what? When? Where does? Where does mud? Where do mud skippers spend most of their time? On land. Very good. All right. Uh, okay. Next page. They're so ugly too. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Watch for the kingfish. Uh -huh. What kind of big old eye it is? What that? God damn. All right. Who not read it? Hannah, read that paragraph there for me, please. What skipper go fast than land by skip? Mm -hmm. 
mud skippers go fast on land by by what next and pause here new sentence by raise the voice and look for the look for the the base part of the word and then add the ending so what's the base part of that word Sons. good so add the ing and you get standing standing very good and there and they on there you were right on there mm -hmm. um, don't be scared in a sound like you're afraid <laughs> <laughs> don't be scared don't be shy you don't get nervous because right? the fish ugly me. you want me to cover up the fish <laughs> the <true> fish ugly <laughs> me can't cover up the ugly fish in a cabin i like see neither all right <laughs> <laughs> all right um, so so continue so that's there they and this is there yeah so you got it right so by standing on there what look for the base of this word what's this part true and then what's the vowel Strong. Strong. don't talk when i know your turn Strong. come again Strong. Strong, good, and then add est, est, strong, so, strongest. So don't make strongest. this sound. Remember, ng says mm, mm, like in king, <coughs> right? King. Oh, yeah. So strong, strongest, strongest thing. Good. They can move on the soil. On the who now? Son. Son. What's the vowel? So ah. The sand. Ah, sand. Mm -hmm. It looks like they are skipping or hopping. What's the vowel? Hopping. Very good. Good. All right. Let's do this one more time. Okay. Mud skipper go fast and land by tripping. Mm -mm. Look carefully at the word. Don't rush it. Look at the word. You see. Why am I put back the ugly something? <laughs> <laughs> you see the blend right there? And then you see the vowel? Stand, standing. Good. Mm -hmm. Standing on the strongest field. Good. Mm -hmm. They can move on the sun if it looks like they are skipping or hopping. Good. Hopping with an O or good and we need the ending for sand not fan sand remember we can't talk part um, but we read english sorry. yes sand <laughs> Duane, what is that <laughs> oh no i'm so sorry about that <laughs> all right i'm very sorry to hear take care and i hope you'll be fine with your family all right take care All right. All right. Um, okay, sorry guys. Ooh, let's get back. This one is there. Yeah. There and they. Because remember you want the r sound enough. Because you see R at the end, so that tell you that this one is there. Can you say the r? This one don't have no r, so it's they. Cool? Everybody get that? Yes, ma'am. All right, good. So, Chrisana, it's your turn to read the next paragraph. Why am I keep uncovering the ugly fish? Okay, it's a pet of me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but mud skippers go the fastest on top of the water. They are quicker at swimming on water than other fish. Good job. Very good. So, which fish is the fastest on water? Mud skippers. Mud skippers. Very good. All right, good. And are their fin? They have very weak fins. Strong fins. Okay, they have very strong fins. Good. I'm gonna read in. <laughs> All right. All right. Good. Let's continue. Jesus Christ! In company at a page. In a so bad this time. Me like me not like this story. Come on, a fish here. <laughs> All right, who not read yet? Marja? Yes. Bonjour. Your turn. Mud skippers mo must be must be what? Look at the blend, then look at the vowel. 
right? And look at the base word. Dripping. Very good. Mm -hmm. Most keepers must drip in wet all of the time. If they are not, they will get sicker than mm -hmm. sick. Good job. That means I'll get sick, bud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, can the mud skippers stay dry? No, no. no. What happens to them if them don't if them not wet? They will get, them get sicker. sicker and dead. Sure. Little, sure. little sick or big, big sick? Big, 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 big sick. Big, big sick. All right. They good will job. Get sicker and sick. Exactly. Good. All right. And they must be dripping wet. When something dripping wet, that means it just little moist, start damp, or meaning Soaking wet, wet, wet. Well soaked. Wet. Well soaked. Very good. All right. Wonderful. Let's con. Oh. <laughs> Make this fish don't stay wet, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oral, your turn. Oral, me not hear you. If you go by the water, you can see mud skipper dripping. Mm -mm, that one there not dripping. Look good again. Look at the base word. We don't see no blend, so we'll go to the vowel. What is the base word? I'm going to write it for you right here. So, d ig. What's that? Begin, begin. You got it. Very good. Begin. Mm -hmm. Digging there. Not dig. there, they. They dig in the softest Good. and wettest sand. Good. This is so there. Good. Eggs can be planted. Very nice. Very good job. All right. So what what is what does what what was the mud? Keep us them doing on the sand? Dig in. Dig in. Very good. And why them a dig? Plant the eggs. They can bury the eggs. Plant the eggs. Yes. And in this yeah. case, plant the egg means they want to bury it, right? So that it can go hatch right. and more ugly fish come. Right. <laughs> what kind it's of sand they dig in? The ugly body. The softest and the wettest. So if the sand dry, you think they are going to dig it? No. no. All right. Good. Very good. And the ugly fish is going to come on the other side. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cover this side first. Some of those <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's skip the page. See, I was right. <laughs> mm. All right. So let's read this part. Whose turn is it to read? Lisa, is your turn again? The egg. Hold on. The I see egg. Andrea come. Let me give Andrea a chance. Hey, Andrea. Andrea. Hi. Hi, Andrea. How are you doing? Not too bad. So you owe me 10 euros or 10 pounds for being late too, right? 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Even... You owe me 10 pounds for being late. My, my <laughs> internet. I have a current problem from when the current is just going. Oh, I see. I see. All right. No problem. <laughs> Can you read this page for us, please? Andrea? Yes, I'm hearing. Okay, good. Can you read that page for us? Oh, one minute. No problem. Are you seeing the page? If you're not ready, tell me now. I can go to somebody else and come back. Andrea, not ready? Yes, I am ready. All right, cool. Go on through then. The eggs will hatch. That's it. Good job. Mm -hmm. Hatch into small mud skillers. Mud who? One more time. Mud Look at skitters. P says P, so skippers. mud skippers. Good. Skippers. Mm -hmm. When the mud skippers get bigger, they can skip and water. They can skip just like the biggest mud skippers. Good. 
So then we're on the beach and want a whole heap of ugly something. Look how they're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's the end of the story. Do you want to read the story one more time? I think so. <laughs> so we're going to read the story again. Homer start over the story. Anybody know Homer start over the story? No? We're reading the story again one last time. And yes, we're going to have to look at the ugly fish. Is this is on the soft remix? Um, not yours. This one is on an, on the children one. But I can find you a similar story on yours and tell you where to see it. You go in the library on your software? Yeah, I'm in the library now. Yeah, so you should be able to find similar stories. But your software is more advanced, so it don't have this story. It, ex it suggests you should have this notice already. All right, so the skipping fish. Let's read the story. And everybody can read it out loud, but not too fast. <laughs> One, two, three. After three, one. Are fish. Wait, hold on. One more time. After three, one, two, three. Mud skipper is three. skippers are fish. Fish can swim in water or skip on land. They use their fins for swimming. Swimming. They swim when they are. Are spending time, spending, spending time, spending in water, time in the water. But, but mud mud skippers, skippers spend most of, spend their, most time of their time on land. on land. Good, very good. All right, one more time. What is this word right here, sir? Spending. Good. And what's this word right here, sir? Far. 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 Good job. Very nice. All right, and let's go to the next page. One, two, three, go. Mud skippers go fast. Mud skippers go fast on land by standing their on their strongest, strongest feet. They can they can move on the sand. sand. It, it looks, looks like, like they are skipping, skipping or hopping, hopping, hopping. or hopping, hopping. Two but P's make it hop. Skippers, but mud skippers, mud skippers go the fastest on top, and water on top and of the water. They are quicker at swimming on water, water than water. other fish. Good job. One, two, three, go. Mud skippers must be dripping wet all of the time. If they are not, they will get thicker and sicker than, than sick. Sicker than sick. Good job, guys. All right. One, two, three, go. If, if you go if you by, go by the, the water, water, you can you see, can see mud, skippers. mud skippers digging. They dig in the softest wet, wet, and wetest sand. sand. This is so their eggs can be planted. You got it. Good job. One, two, three, go. The eggs will hatch into small mud skippers. When the mud skippers get bigger, they can skip on water. They can skip just like the biggest mud skippers. Very good. Now, what's this word right here? Hatch. One to me, H. Hatch. 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 Very good. All right. And I think that's the end of the story. The end. Cool. There are some questions. This passage is about the hmm. biggest fish in Which the Which answer is correct? What is the passage about? That can swim in water and skip on land. Many kinds is it of a, fish B, that C? can live on land and water. Is it A, B, water. or C? B. B. Good job. A fish that can swim in water and skip on land. Where does the mud skipper spend most of its time? On land. On land. land. Uh, a. In water. Uh. On land. 
Which is the fastest? A turtle. A sí. bike. An airplane. An airplane. Would the desert be a safe place for the mudskipper to live? No. Yes. B. No, no. B. When mudskippers move on the sand, they look like they are skipping, a. running, crawling, skipping. I Get hope this. you enjoyed the story. Yay, you Here got all right. Here are the results to the questions you <laughs> Good answered. Good job, guys. The questions with a green check mark were answered correctly. The Look. questions with a red we X no were red answered X. incorrectly. This uh, book correct. will now be available for you to read in the library. Return to the clubhouse when Why you are finished looking at your results. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, are we all clear? Is everybody clear now? But yes, one and yes, two, yes. and how we add suffixes to phonetic skill one and two. All clear. Mm, yes, yes? yes. Okay, yes. good. So tomorrow we're going to just continue a little bit with another lesson. And then on Monday, we will do phonetic skill three. Okay, but tomorrow we'll continue with some other grammar rules and things like that. Thank you, everybody. This audio awesome. will be available tomorrow on YouTube. I, I hope so. <laughs> All right. It's, guys, you probably would have noticed.